Hello everyone, my name is Kevin from Pigeon Tools. In this video I will show you how to use the super fast render add-on. The super fast render add-on settings optimization optimizes your scene settings for you by benchmarking it. It estimates what settings you need for your scene so that you only render what you need to render. Super fast render changes many settings in your scene, but most importantly the light bounces. The more light bounces in your scene, the more calculations you need for each pixel. That's why it's important to only render what you actually need to render. The default settings of Blender give you a rough estimation. If you do interior renders, you need a lot more bounces than the default sets it at. If you do exterior renders, you usually need a lot less. With too few bounces, your scene will be improperly lit and too dark. With too many bounces, then your scene renders for a lot longer than it needs to, wasting time, so it's important to find a balance. The texture optimizer optimizes your image textures using your scene. This will reduce memory consumption. With less memory taken up by the textures, you can have more space for other things to fill your scene. In the render settings optimization, Superfast Render offers you two primary categories, automatic optimization and manual optimization. Automatic will benchmark the scene for you, leading to more precise and scene individual settings. Recommend you use the automatic benchmark before you begin your final render. The first setting you see is benchmark res. It determines the resolution the benchmark will be run at. The default is set to 5, meaning it runs at 5% of the current frame resolution. So a 1920 by 1080px pixel image will be benchmarked at 96 by 54 pixels. The higher resolution is set, the longer each benchmarking step will take, but the settings will be set with more precision. In most cases, 5 to 10 is the sweet spot. Below that is the threshold percentage. The threshold is what the benchmark uses to decide whether a settings needs to be increased or can be kept at where it's at. Increasing the threshold will reduce the total benchmarking time but will lead to less precision. We recommend to range between 0.01 and 0.1, with the scenes of higher complexity benefiting from low threshold. The frame offset is for the animation benchmark. The animation benchmark works by running the frame benchmark at different positions in the timeline and keyframing the settings. Think of a character walking outside and entering a building. While the outside you need a few light bounces, but on the inside you need a lot more. The light bounces are divided into five subsections. Diffuse, Glossy, Transparency, Transmission and Volume. While your scene will most likely have Diffuse and Glossy, the Transparency, Transmission and Volume are optional. Transparent are all the surfaces that use an alpha slider on the principal PSDF or any other kind of alpha transparency. Transmission is for surfaces that are like glass. It's for surfaces with a transmission value on the principal PSDF to set anything above zero. Volume is for volumetrics, as light also bounces inside the volumetrics, indirectly illuminating your scene. If you aren't using some of these, for example your scene has no volumetrics, then you can disable the setting. Disabling a setting will reduce the number of calculations the automatic benchmark will have to perform, reducing the benchmarking time. Indirect bounces can be very bright, leading to so-called fireflies. These fireflies are difficult to deal with, and usually more samples will not get rid of them. Clamping the indirect brightness will lead to fewer fireflies, leading to less noise and reduced render times. The caustic blur is the setting that decides how blurred caustic should be. Are they not blurred at all, then there will be hotspots of high noise areas. Are they blurred too much, then you wouldn't see any of the Corsics in your scene at all. You can either benchmark a single frame or benchmark your entire animation with this button here. The default path on your benchmarking files is a temp folder in your C drive, but you can change that to anything else. We recommend you do change it. The manual presets are just a quick setup for your scene and should not be used for final render, but as a quick viewport fix. Super Preset is good for large scale scenes where you need a responsive viewport. It sets your settings to very low values. High is the middle ground, good for most scenes, fast and still looking good. Beauty is more of a fun setting, it sets all of your settings to the highest possible number. Do not use this for anything other than messing around, as it will render very slow. So let's go back to the automatic settings. The texture optimization feature is the highlight of the super fast render add-on version 3. Your scene is full of textures and many of them are way higher resolution than they need to be, wasting precious memory that could be used for other things. It allows you to reduce the memory consumption for each texture in your scene by scaling it down. 
Each of these textures in this list can be rescaled by super fast render individually, so you maintain precise control over it. Most of the time you only see the detail in the diffuse textures, they represent the actual colors you see, so they can be kept unchanged. Textures like AO, Specularity, Metallic or Roughness aren't directly seen, and only its influence is visible. As a result, you can keep them at a lower value without anyone noticing a difference. The normal map or the bump maps need a higher resolution, as their influence is directly visible with a light shining on it. Similar story with translucency. Opacity, alpha or transparency can be reduced in size a bit, as you would usually not notice much of a difference if any at all. The number here indicates by how much the resolution should be decreased. Zero is being unchanged. One is halved and two is quartered and so on. Enabling the setting create backup will copy all the texture files into a folder, so that if something happens outside of your liking, you can always revert back to it. If you disable it, you will get the warning that it is irreversible. Clicking optimized textures will copy all of your textures into a separate folder, directly next to where your blend file is saved. Copying them over is important, as you wouldn't want the original texture files to be modified. And that's it, thanks for watching. And if you want to chat with us, have a question or feedback, you can feel free to message us on our social media pages. Join our Discord server for early release announcement and give feedback on in-depth features as we are developing them. And with that, see ya.